So, onwards to the south, I guess. Some more shenanigans and more runes. Which may or may not also have shenanigans involved. Okay, so. I feel like I vaguely remember this room. So, so it looks like this holds reputation probably comes from its later levels. Yeah, because, uh... Yeah, these few, these first few levels there are really does, easy so far. Does does this hold have a particular reputation for being difficult? I, I've only heard it having a reputation for being good, which isn't the same thing. Yeah, same here, personally. Yeah, I haven't heard anything bad about it. Okay, actually, I think I know what needs to be done. So these roaches are gonna enter here. Well, the rating was difficult, so maybe it does get harder. Yeah, I think. Well, considering. Well, I don't mean to uh, make a uh, quick judgement, but considering Agaricus is one of the architects, I have a feeling something's <laughs> gonna happen. <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to wait and see for that. So, right. hmm. Oh, I see, you're gonna get those ten roaches in the top chamber. Yeah. And that holds down that pressure plate. Yeah. Alright, seems to have done the trick. And we can get the roach. If this were the second sky, there would be a... There would actually be a fire trap in there. To just kill the roaches instantly. This is strangely easy room. Yeah. Okay, so... Onwards to what? south. Huh? What about the tunnels? You need to take the tunnels to enter this room. Ah, yes, of course. I've completely forgotten about this one, actually. Okay, so, oh. Alright, so fuse time. So we have a timer. That's interesting. So. It looks like we're racing to the brain's location. Yeah, it seems like it. I don't think it's a timer so much as that the hmm. bomb is going to blow up the orb, which opens the door, and we have, oh, to, yeah, su so, we have to survive until then. Yeah, so it's going to be about uh, uh, wasting as much time as possible. Uh, it's like the opposite of an efficiency room. <laughs> yeah. It's like a pretty much an accurate descriptive. That's my kind of room. <laughs> Probably mine too, because I'm not good at, at optimization. Okay, so we have to do even more time wasting here. Okay, so I don't think that was good enough. Yeah, no, we still need several more turns. I think, I think the part where I wasted the turn. And there's no, there's no area that's big enough to do like an infinite loop thing, right? Yeah, nothing, nothing as far as I can see. Is there a reason you wouldn't just wait on the arrow or something? If you wait on the arrow, the roach will just get in your way. Like that. So that won't work. Also, yeah, the roach needs to... Uh, what about before that. the arrow? Wait, before the arrow? Nah, yeah, there's the roach. Yeah, if it doesn't go here, it won't get blown up. Oh, I see now. It's pretty clever. Okay. I need to ask, is anyone else hearing it like a static? No, no, you wouldn't hear it because uh, it's on my phone. Yeah, I'm getting a static right now and it doesn't seem to be registering in the audio, so it really bothers me. It's distracting. I don't hear anything. Huh? I don't hear anything. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. I, I was uh, having a bit of a dumb moment where I assumed people would hear it, but it's really only on my end because uh, it's my it's my headphones messing up right now and it's uh oh it seems to stop and come back. It's really These annoying. marked floor tiles that the fuse passes over. Is there any significance to those? The the floor tiles? Yeah, there's a few floor tiles that are that are just Sam's tiles. Oh those it might be I think it might be you do not want to touch the checkpoint until it touches the floor tile. That might be an oh. interesting assumption. Yeah, that, that seems like a... 
Yeah, it seems logical to me to assume that. So. Ah, so I'm already not being quick enough. Or slow, slow enough, enough, you mean? <laughs> yeah, slow enough, yeah. Of course. Why would I want to be quick here? It's like the opposite of what I want. Well. Hmm. It seems like I'm not getting there fast enough, so. Uh. Yeah, I'm like two turns short from what I'm getting here. Hmm. Now try not making any diagonal movements. Yeah, I guess. No, I need to step on a checkpoint there. Okay. Nice. So that works. It might be as close as we're getting to that. Yeah, probably. So for a short one move for the rest of it, we know where it is. Alright, so once again, I'm just one move short here, so it's, it's not too bad. It's, it's like a step in the right direction. And that middle part seemed as, as slow as possible. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Hmm. We're short two moves. Hmm. I don't know if I can save any well, moves over here. Or... Um, huh? I know you could probably waste more turns on before you touch the arrow because you know absolutely how many turns you need. So, right. Well, be actually, you can't because uh, the the roach there needs to blow up like uh, exactly when you step here, stuff like that. Oh, so the bomb needs to be about to explode right when you're on the checkpoint. Yeah, pretty much. So we can't really do that, sadly. But, well, I think that might have saved me a few turns. Question mark? Okay, we're two moves short again, though, so that might not be it. Oh, now we're one turn short. It's a good start. Um, huh? I think that I think that one turn short was from the first part. Yeah, probably. Okay, so let's see. How can I do this better, though? Don't want the roach to get too close to me, because... Wait, did I get the roach close to me before? I think I did. I could wait here, actually, yeah. Ah, there we go. The turn saved. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, we seem to be on time now. So, first up here, let's start. Okay. Alright, so what did I do here? Just. Oh, we're t one turn again. So, so at least we know, at least we know that one turn is in the last part. Yeah, because everything else seems to have been synced up correctly so far. And making the squares a red herring would be way too cruel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be. Oh, there we go. Alright, that was an interesting room. Much tougher than some of the other ones, that said. I don't think I've ever seen an anti-efficiency room. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first one I've seen myself. It's a really interesting concept. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen, like, survive for X number of turns, but I haven't yeah. seen that. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Okay, so this seems like a very obvious kind of room. Just stab the roaches as they come along. What was the challenge here? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, the challenge of being oh, to keeping a roach uh, for a secret. Yeah, it's so easy. Yeah. Which one do I keep, though? I Not that one. I don't think it has to be the last one. Yeah, I don't see anything else, okay. That doesn't do it. Oh wait, I could step here. Ha! <laughs> I'm safe here. Oh. Well, not safe from goofing up. Oh. Hmm. Can you just go back through the tunnel? Uh. Oh wait, I, I think I could actually. Hold on. Ha! <laughs> there you go. Just to take care of. Uh, Oh, there you go. Oh, now this guy. This guy right here. Just doesn't let go. Hmm. Try That's facing probably... southwest right before you enter the tunnel. Southwest? Or northwest, sorry. Northwest? Uh, yeah. Alright, oh, that's because uh, the roach gets in the way otherwise. Oh, guess that. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Clever little guy here. Oh. Hmm. Could just shave off one turn. Try uh wait. After you kill the brain, can you turn your sword before the roach gets to you? Hmm, not quite. Could turn it. No oh, wait, no, I wouldn't want to turn it. Hmm. Yeah, brain needs to go first, and then you shave off a turn from this. It seems like the best way, but also not quite. I don't believe uh, there would be any other... You could try getting him stuck in the west area instead of the top arrow. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, actually that makes sense because uh, now the roast is going to be here instead of there, so it won't be able to get to me directly. Seems like a good way to go. Getting your sword northwest. Yeah. Hmm. That's a that's a complication, kind of, huh? It's kind of annoying how he doesn't go to the west and instead tries to go back up north. Yeah. He's a little unruly guy, this one. Hmm. Secret's turning out harder than the actual puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Well, it should be because it's unlocking a secret. 
I'd be I'd be even more surprised if that had been easier than the actual puzzle. We think. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if there was no secret there. <laughs> Brain. It's a brain. More importantly, I need to kill it. So to do that, I would want to face north, northwest when I make it up there. So this jerk needs to stop. I think I was doing better when I was actually up here instead. Uh, yes. uh what? Huh? Instead of having your sword northwest, try having it either north or west, and then just swing your sword when you get inside and see if you can set it up. Yeah, question is... Question is, can I get it through that road? Can I get myself through that road facing that direction? So little persistent guy, I'll get into that. Oh, that's nice. Now you don't feel like dancing. Any of these roaches these days. Maybe I need to do something different with the tunnel? Let's see what I could do differently, but. I still think I was doing more progress uh, through there, to be honest. Because the roach actually wants to go up here now. What's the northmost red door for? This one? Yeah, that one's been bothering me. I think it helps you to escape uh, when the roach uh, gets out. Yeah, it's so that you and the roach have a path out. Oh, makes sense. And I think it's just the exit. I don't think there's another way out. No, there's another way out, but... Huh? Well, the, there's another way out for you, but not for the roach. Yeah. Hmm. That's almost right. We're just one move off. <laughs> it's a doozy. What if it's something weird like you don't kill every roach and then end up killing the brain? That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> well, what... no, I mean like you have maybe two or three roaches left. I don't know, that's probably a It struggle. seems like that would be even harder to deal with though. Yes, yes it does. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we're struggling with one roach, why would we want more? I was thinking, because this doesn't necessarily have to be the north roach that's the last roach. You could kill something earlier, maybe the, maybe kill the north roach before the west roach. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, but the question is, how do I get this one to not... Oh, wait a minute. No, that doesn't change anything, though. Not in that setup. So I was thinking, if you killed the north roach and somehow got killed the brain right afterwards, then the... West Road would be stuck on the arrow, and then it doesn't look like that'll work too easily. Yeah. Seems to be the thing. Wait. Here's my question. Okay, so kill the next three roaches. Mm -hmm. Huh? Um. Then go northwest and try. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that seems to have done a trick. But now this one over there is going to be in the way. Hmm. This has potential though. Yeah. I feel like this is getting somewhere. Okay, what if you don't kill these guys? Oh. Okay, let's see. How about we just go straight for it? Like, kill this guy and... Oh. Nope. <laughs> I'm close. Oh, wait. That's interesting. 
Aha, there we go. That did the trick. All right, yeah, that worked. Yeah. Forgot that I pushed talk. <laughs> I was talking to myself. Oops. Okay, and it's secret time. All right, so it's a bridge, and we need to get the roaches all on there. Oh boy, this is. Uh... That sounds painful, but I suppose that those. I suppose that those orbs close the doors and that will help you. Oh, they toggle. Okay, I thought it was like a one-time close everything deal. That would have been bad. Well, I would get the roaches out from one of the top areas before closing the door. Alright, so this looks like a puzzle. We're trying to get all the roaches in the center. Yeah, in order to drop them off the bridge. Actually, I think I don't want them to be in the center area. What if I... Okay, let's get everyone over there. Yeah, it seems like that... Oh, wait. That seems to be the problem. So what does each orb do? Uh, this one toggles the bottom ones. Yeah. This one also the bottom ones. And the left ones toggle the top ones. Okay. Oh wait! Oh, that seems to have done it. Let me just take out the casing here. It seems like the bottom doors don't need to necessarily be open to get them out. Yeah. All right, I think that takes care of it. Just gotta. Oh, I think I maybe see where the prom comes in now. Oh, I think I know what. It's gonna happen. Oh. Put this guy here. I'll close that just to be sure. And now, there we go. Everyone's there we ready go. to die. Oh, That's another room. All right, two more rooms. And then one more secret. Ah, yeah, one, one more secret. Yeah, oh, yeah from that one. Room. Yeah, I guess. I guess we could do that one now. Okay, so. This will involve... Is there any postmaster? Huh? Is there any postmaster? Does anyone know? Uh, I wouldn't know. I, from what I remember, I only played like this level and that's about it. As a matter of honor, we have to do all the secrets anyway. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and even if we didn't have to, uh, I would have to, so... You so all this, would have this to. Just hit those orbs F every... Every now and then to keep the top roach going back and forth. Yep. Okay. But uh, for here, we're going to have to get to this one in order to toggle again. So... Yes. So oh, it I looks like we, just. We can just toggle those, though, so yeah, it's not too bad. I think the trick is we want to uh, do this as efficient, efficiently as possible. Oh, wait. That's not good idea. What just happened? This guy's just. Hmm, that's interesting. So these guys. If I'm not careful, they're all going to end up in a bad place. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's that can't happen. It seems like I want to avoid that from happening. At the same time, can I really? Hmm. Maybe if we just do it one at a time. No, I don't think so. <sighs> well, um, what if you just kill as many as you can, and then before it goes through the door, just close the door, or switch toggle the doors, then just reopen it again, and then he'll have to do another whole run. 
So what do you mean? So So for example, just toggle that like normal. Like so? And then as quickly as you can hit the other orb. Alright. And then let as many as you can get through. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna take me one, two, three, four, five rows, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh. And then you can go back and now he has to spend time going again. That'll work. Yeah, it should. Actually, I don't know what's stopping you from just going down there. In the end. Well, this guy seems to be. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, keep uh, pushing until he gets out. Just one more because I think it's gonna require all of my moves to get down there. There we go. And. Okay. Now it's gonna have to make the way all over here. Dies, and there we go. Room complete. Woo! Yay! Okay. I wonder what unintended solution that long path prevents. Mm -hmm. I wonder what unintended solution that long path is there to prevent. No, I think it's just to get the roach from uh, this little area to here. Because, uh, hold on. Uh, this, this locks up the roach, so there needs to be another way to get to the roach. So I think it just leads it to us. Yes, but I think Pinnacle is asking why that path is so long. <laughs> exactly. It seems it seems like it's there to prevent something. Like, the yeah. fact that it's so long. If it was a little bit shorter, maybe there would be some kind of unintended solution. Mm. I, I maybe it's just so that the, um, the path through the bad pressure plate is always the shortest way to you. Hmm. Yeah, that seems long. Yeah, I guess that, I guess that makes sense. Alright, so one more room for this level, and it's going to be something with uh, this guy over here. So, we want to avoid that toggling, because uh, if it does, uh, the bomb will explode. The bomb will not explode, rather, and that's going to be bad. I think we... wait, but wouldn't the door be opened? No, I'm confused. Well, if you stop, if it goes through a wall, or how does that work? Uh, the the door will the door will cut the fuse if it opens and then closes again. Yeah, there's a mirror in there, which is interesting. It's a pressure plate I could actually get to. Hmm. Toggles that door. So I have a feeling that Roach may need to stay on the. The trick to this puzzle might be to get the mirror to stay on that top pressure plate and then get the roach to stay on the, the whole toggle thing. Yeah. Actually, I think we may need to have the roach go on the plate itself. So, do this. And like that. Then do this to keep it here and I'll get the mirror down. Yeah, something. If you get the mirror onto the um, hmm. onto the pressure plate, it'll keep holding it down, and you no, no longer need the roach. Hmm. You probably need to release it at some point, though. Yeah, probably. It'd be way too easy if you could just leave the mirror there. Yeah. What does that toggle actually? Yeah, it only toggles a fuse though, so I don't think it would be much of a problem if I did that. Hmm. 
that. Okay, so... Yeah, we, I managed to get the roach... Wait, should I try to get the roach in there again? No, I can only move that mirror up or down. And I have a feeling that I want to get the... The mirror... Position... Oh, I think I want what, what the mirror to go here, actually. What does that little pressure plate to the north do? This one, it just toggles that door. Oh, alright. So I think I want to... Hold on, let me check that again. Do this, and do something like that, or something along those lines. Uh, uh, actually do that, and then go north above the door. Ah, right, yeah. <laughs> that seems to have done a trick. Let me just... Oh, right, yeah. Alright. I do <laughs> I got myself stuck. <laughs> Remember kids, don't rush in life, or else you get stuck on a four star and have to redo everything. In the days before Unlimited Undo, that was <laughs> very annoying when that happened. Yeah. And I of guess, course uh, And of course still is for those of us who play without Unlimited Undo, but yeah. That would not be a silly, sensible thing to do when recording. Yeah. Okay, so kill that roach, and now actually I'm wondering how to kill this one. Hmm. If I needed to... No, I don't think so. It wouldn't make you sense have to, to have... You have to be able to lure the roach out. Um, yeah. So you can't have the mirror there. Start... No. Actually, no. Start, oh, start, start, start moving as soon as the fuse has gone through the door. Okay. Wait, no, the, the doors are no. So you mean like... Oh. Oh, you mean like there? Something? Oh, uh, no, he means right when it passes the door that would close oh. it in. Then that's when you start moving. Okay, there. Okay, so... Oh, but it's not going to open the door until the bomb explodes. Yeah. Yeah, so that doesn't make any difference. Um, before going through there, try moving it back into the pressure plate to reclose that door that's in the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright. Okay, that takes care of that. Little hang up, but we did it! That's the end of the first tier. Uh, wow. Wait, no, there's a secret we still need to do, apparently. Uh, I don't yeah. get it. Huh? We can go forward and go back to the secrets at the end. Yeah, that, that's just what I was thinking, but I would, someone said that, oh, we have a secret left, but... Yeah. All right. So the exit is through here. I think we need both mimics and the and the pressure plates. Yes. So just make sure they don't kill each other. Yeah. These guys don't get along very well. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh. That's not. That's not good. No, that's not right. Hmm. It's very limited space I have to move in. Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I want to do this instead. Wait, no, not that. Okay, switch up a bit. Not like that. It's not even switching up, it's just dying a lot. No. I think it's like a reverse problem. It's either the left door or the right door that seems to be a problem getting in. Yeah. But wait, huh? Jeff. Huh? Fa face west no, again. You no, you have it. You have it. Yeah. Um, just so face... Step, no, step right. Just face any direction, so... Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was complicated for nothing. All right, let's go down. Upper tier again. Success! Yay! <laughs> and winning. Didn't even important. get to read the whole text that time. Yeah. I think it was the same. Oh, yeah, it's, it probably said something. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't um, the same. The exit said something. Uh, result. Re uh, after the success, it says something related to the level. This. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh... Doesn't matter. Yeah. That's just to me. <laughs> Anyone watching the video can just pause at that point. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it, I guess they can imagine your voice trying to read it. Alright, so let's actually read this now. Beethro descended to the middle tier. Another sign was posted at the bottom of the stairs. Warning! Class 1 hazard limits exceeded. Class 2 protocols should be followed in this section. Uh, nothing I can't handle. I hope it doesn't get much harder, though. I was told this would be a simple hold. Well, so far it's been relatively simple, Pethro. I don't know what you're talking about. Foreshadowing the <laughs> bad things to come. Yeah. Okay, so tier number two is Calamarin and Discorin. So, which Floating one? centerpiece sounds interesting. Huh? Floating centerpiece sounds interesting. Water... Okay, yeah, so... the level titles, water containment, and... Oh, floating centerpiece, there you go. Yeah, it sounds like an interesting level name. It is a Discarin level, so that's kind of scary. <laughs> Discarin, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, considering he made lav lavender levels, uh... Yeah, probably, uh... It's probably with reason to be a little worried. So, do we go with Calamarin or Discorin? I vote Discorin. Discorin. Okay, since the vote is tied in majority to Discorin, so let's go to Floating Centerpiece. 12th place, what are you talking about? That was so deficient. <laughs> okay, Floating Centerpiece. Normally, when one is navigating a tower, one does not emerge from a staircase to find oneself in the middle of a lake. Yet that was where Beethro found himself. The topology of the Eighth was weird that way. Alright. That is a little weird. Okay. So, Iceworks level with bridges everywhere. Seems we have an it's... island and... Oh. Seep and water skippers. <laughs> Everyone's favorite combination. Yeah. <laughs> so, whoopers and rock golems. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, now we have uh, roach queens and oh, they're not brained, but wait, is that oh, that's blue lighting. Okay. But oh, we wait, can't. Are... We can't actually get onto the blue. Yeah. Tiles, so we have to manipulate them out. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> and to the east, uh, decoy, mud stuff. Let's take a quick look underneath. It's a spiral leading to down there. Doesn't look fun. <laughs> nah. Not quite. So we can only hit the uh, tar switching token once. After that, that's uh, everything's up to us. Roach queens and bombs. Oh boy, that's totally not horrifying at all. And they're brained. Yep. And there's like more than twenty-eight or something per turn. Like three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. 42. Oh boy. I think anyone's gonna blame me for not wanting to do that right now. Okay. Here? Oh. That looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> to the south. Uh, more water skippers. And on click, on click, and guards. And how do these plates work? Okay, opens, close that, opens, close that, opens, close that, opens, close that. Oh, I think I know what needs to be done. Keep something in each quadrant, something. Okay. Oh, yes, you do have the mirrors. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I could have a mirror set here, there, and there, and just push them out of something. I guess that could work. So, alright, what shall be the first room we take on? Which one looks the least horrifying, I guess? That's the question. 
So it looks like those first two levels were just to create a false sense of security. Yeah. Probably. So, which poison shall we go for first? Let's clear some tar and mud. Alright. Actually, I just realized we never did the outro for uh, the first part, so I guess we'll... Yeah, sure, why not? Let's leave that on a cliffhanger for the second part. This has been Beethoven Becca 7 with uh, Way Forward, a collaboration LP of a collaboration hold. And next time, we'll take on these eight rooms. That ought to be fun. Anyway, I'll see you in the next part. Have a nice one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.